In each category, the winner of Miss Congeniality was awarded and chosen by her fellow contestants. The winner of Miss Congeniality is Bea Shields. Each category of the competition will receive an award. For the best essay goes to Vegasque Summerfish. Congratulations. Best public speaking. Danae Dormy. And for the best interview, the winner goes to Shanice Arthur. And the best traditional talent presentation, Bea Shields. Congratulations. And for the dance portion of the competition, the best dancer award goes to Tyra Nicole Quitaki. <laughs> Beulah, Rick, can you do the honors? Thank you very much. Sure. To second runner up. Second runner-up to Miss Indian World accumulated 2,965 points. She comes to us from the Diné Nation. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, she is Diné Doromi. All right, let's give her a big round of applause, our second runner-up. And I must say, any of these young ladies would be a wonderful Miss Indian world without a doubt. Okay, the first runner-up has accumulated 2,971 points. From the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe Tribe from Cass Lake, Minnesota, Lori Martin Kingberg, first runner up. They all receive a beautiful trophy, handmade pottery of New Mexico, and flowers by Shauna Sunrise and many other gifts, and a lifetime of memories, right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm, t I'm talking, I'm talking. Okay, uh, for one year, the young lady crowned Miss Indian World will have the privilege and honor of representing her tribe and the title of Miss Indian World throughout the world. Drum roll, please. All right, it has all come down to this. With 2,974 points, representing 
the White Mountain Apache and Walker River Pirate from a tribe from White River, Arizona. The new Miss Indian world is Tyler Susan. Our new Miss Indian world. And let me tell you, the competition was close in this pageant. They're judged on the basis of point system. And it is possible for Miss Indian World, we've had them in the past, to win Miss Indian World without winning any of the categories. And here's why. This is interesting. I didn't mention it before, did I? I forgot about that. But anyway, we've had past Miss Indian Worlds who've done that. And that's why you have a very wonderful Miss Indian World, because she might not have won any of the categories, but she was raking top in all of them. So when you have your Miss Indian World, it's a very well-rounded young woman who deserves the crown through and through. So 25 judges have selected this Miss Indian World. We thank them all for their participation and being a part of the pageant. And I want to hear all of you all out there representing. Let's give this young lady a big round of applause, our new 2018 Miss Indian World. Taylor Susan. And Oh, we have a drum called Motown here, I hear. Okay, and we're ready. looking to see if Motown will sing us an honor song for Miss Indian World. I'll give you some time to get ready, boys. And we thank you very much for that. Sorry for the short notice. I was so caught up in the excitement of it all. I was like, oh, honor song? Whoops. My bad. Beulah look bad. Um, all registered press individuals will be receiving an email immediately and uh, they will be getting a bio from Miss Indian World and first and second runner-ups and information on the newly crowned Miss Indian World. That's what's happening right now. So any of you with registered press credentials who registered at the door will be receiving an email. Check your phones, check your computers. You're going to be receiving an email with all of the information on Miss Indian World. From White River, Arizona, Taylor Susan. And don't forget Miss India, her family, we're waiting for her immediate family to make their way down here. Um, anybody who's standing in the aisles, the family's on their way down. So uh, if you could uh, make way for the mamas and the, and the daddies and the sisters and the brothers. Uh, we're very, they're very proud of their young ladies. And let's give these three young ladies and all of our contestants a wonderful big round of applause. Yes, indeed. Let them hear you. They're all so talented and they all did such a wonderful job. I had no idea how this was gonna go. And I love all of these girls so very much. Getting to know them this week was certainly a blessing. And look at that, so, it truly has been a sisterhood. Look at that. Yes, they're all look hugging her. There's, you know, there's not a jealous bone out there and I'm very proud of these young ladies for feeling this way. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to see your sisters back you up. All right, I want to thank this young gentleman with the microphone here for being ready to catch the honor song as well. That was very good for you to be on your feet there. And Alfina, Alfina Sosi, Danielle is up here. You, she, uh, you lost her, or she lost you. Alfina Sosi, Danielle is up here. She's, you're going to be all right. Don't worry, she's going to be fine. She's gonna be fine, we'll watch her up here. Okay, looking for Motown to give us an honor song. And uh, just a four times through regular song, thank you very much, an honor, regular honor song. Motown, if you would please do us the honor of giving us a song for the new Miss Indian world. And it's okay to cheer, y'all. It's okay to cheer. Woo! All right. Oh, yeah. 
as they pass by you there. Let them hear you. Can we ask you all to stand up, rise? This is an honor song for Miss Indian World. Honor our new Miss Indian World, rise please. Much respect for all of these young ladies, 30 of the most talented, gracious and humble young ladies I've had the pleasure to meet. And all of them have done such a wonderful job. And backing each other up, being supportive all the way through the pageant. I'm so proud to call all these young ladies my relatives now. And I'm sure when you meet them in your life at some point, you will be very happy that you did and understand why. All of the, it was a close race, y'all. Close race. And they're all very deserving of the crown. I've been honored to be associated with the Miss Indian World program since it began. And I have to tell you, this particular group of young women has been so congenial, so cordial, so giving, and so warm and loving with each other and to everyone else. They truly deserve a recognition from you. Let's hear it for each and every one of these young ladies, please. Thank you. Let them hear you. Motown for that beautiful honor song and you know our new Miss Indian World Taylor Susan she will be graduating in May from the University of Arizona with two degrees in American Indian Studies and Political Science so congratulations to our new Miss Indian World Taylor Susan White River Arizona from White Mountain Apache Tribe Happy days for all of everybody in Arizona now. So thank you very much for your time. I, you know what, this has been a w really wonderful pageant for me this year. And I hope any of you young ladies out there who are thinking about it, it's not just the experience of winning a crown, it's about meeting each other and being a part of your culture. So think about it. It might be something that you would like to do as well. I'm Beulah Sunrise, and I invite you to uh, stay around for the rest of the powwow and totally enjoy yourself. There's stage 49 outside. And on behalf of my uh, Diné people and uh, my Kiwa people, I say thank you very much. And on behalf of everyone in the state of New Mexico, all you visitors, welcome. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye for tonight. So thank you all for your time. Oh, all right. Jonathan Windy Boy is stumped. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and rise. Dancers, come on into the arena, everybody. Whistle carrier, Jonathan Windy. 